Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In the last episode that went very long, longer than I would have liked, we did beat Mom, we unlocked the womb, and in total we got like 6 out of 97 secrets, which is not too bad. And look, we start off with a judgment right off, with, right off the bat, we don't even have any money. Unfortunately, I didn't lock any characters in the first run. Let's see if we can do so in the second. Remember, to unlock Kane, you need at least 55 pennies. Maggie, you have to have at least 7 red hearts in total. Eve is 2 deals with the devil. And Samson, you have to skip 2 item rooms. PhD! That's actually very good, because now we can no longer get negative pills. Like, at the first run, we got, like, a Tears Down, which caused a bit of problems. And speaking of the Harbingers that we unlocked at the end of Part 1, here's one of them right now, Famine. This guy's very simplistic. Like, whenever he does that little cackle, he'll actually go towards you, come back from the other side of the screen. If he's not doing that, he'll just spawn, like, flies to use against you. But remember, his dash attack can also kill them. So use that to your advantage if you don't feel like killing the flies yourself. And every time you defeat a Harbinger, you're going to find one in each chapter, you will get a cube of meat. The more cube of meats you get, the greater chances, well, the higher level your meat boy is going to be. Yeah, you can actually create a meat boy in this game out of cubes of meat. Now we're at the second phase, Famine likes to shoot three shots at a time. So be very careful with that. I think I might want to focus on the flies first. Otherwise I'm going to find myself getting hit by Famine. Oh, we get Zolhard. Awesome! And we get the Book of Revelations just by defeating a Harbinger. Book of Revelations is actually a great item. You're going to find out why soon enough. Once we actually get one. But for now, I might have to either check for the secret room, or see what else is in this room. Yeah, well, it's pretty obvious where the secret room is. Let's just take care of this little big spider. Which turns into two small spiders, unfortunately, because, you know, I hate spiders in this game. Oh, we got ourselves a mid-boss, Sloth. Okay, Sloth is not too bad. He'll shoot either bomb shots or silkworms, like charging silkworms, kind of like a mini chub. But luckily those little bomb blasts can actually kill the silkworms for you. Eh, I don't like this, I got like three of them on me. Come on, Sloth, can you kill some of them for me, please? That would be much appreciated. Preferably not hitting me in the process. Now remember, I did get the womb slash utero unlocked, so this run could be a bit longer depending on how many rooms I explore and how long the floors are going to take. But at least I get off to a good start right away because I no longer have to show the intro and I don't have to explain too much. Ooh, we get like a Bob's Rotten Head. Seems like an okay item. It functions like a throwing bomb. Here, I'll show you. It also does poison damage to whoever it hits. Uh, fortune teller, I don't want to spend any money on that. Don't even want to go to the shop either, because let's face it, what am I going to buy with one cent? They don't have penny candy in this game. Then again, if you're a baby and you got a surgical mask on, how the hell are you going to eat candy? Oh, what's there in the chest? Uh, Link, open me please! Yeah, Link's not going to make it to that dungeon in time. Just making a little Zelda reference. Because, you know, people like Zelda so much, and so do I. Anyways, this room seems pretty easy. Just deal with these four enemies, and there you go. This one's not a threat either. I think we're going to have a pretty good run. If I get lots of pills. If I don't get any pills, then PhD seems like a total bust. But at least we got it for free. It's also a good idea to check out all this fire, because you might find some coins in there. Ranging from a penny to maybe even a dime if you're lucky. I don't like my chances of getting dimes through fire, but 
it can happen. I'm sure of it, at least. There's a tinted rock over there. I want to blow that up. Ooh, good. I put a good bomb placement so I can get three cents as well, along with a key. Most tinted rocks tend to have soul hearts as well. Or you can get bombs, you can get gold chests, and even that small rock we unlocked. The small rock functions as a damage upgrade, but also a speed downgrade, so keep that in mind. Also, this cube of meat I have, it's not doing much except being a bit of orbital defense like the Halo of Flies was. And it can also hurt enemies it comes in contact with. So let's take out these Siamese Flies, this little gusher over here. I want to get that checked out. Thank you. Now this is Bob's Rotten Head worthy. Either taking out these enemies or to check for a secret room that I can save my bombs. I'll be happy about that very least. First, do the mitre. Increases your likelihood for soul hearts. That's what the mitre does. So it's very good to get. Oh, it seems to be paying off already. I don't think the mitre had anything to do with that soul heart being in the poop, but who knows? Stranger things have happened. More Siamese flies to work with. I'm pretty sure the secret room's over here. I'm liking my chances so far. This run's moving a lot faster than the previous one. Oh, we get the liver again! Wow. Never expected that at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're going to unlock Maggie in this run. I really hope we do. In fact, I think even if I gave up these uh, red hearts for a deal with the devil, I can still get her if I get more HP upgrades. And now we got Monstro to deal with. He's gonna be a boss you'll see very often when you play this game a lot. Like, he only has like two attacks, like he just jumps around, shoots this whole bloodshot spray, and then will hop up really high, and when he lands, usually in your current position, wherever he jumped, he will just create even more bloodshots. Just be careful with that. But his attacks are very easy, like whenever you see him ready to wince and attack, just get over to, say, 90 degrees of him, and you'll be alright. You can try to chance it by getting under the shots, but I find it's not worth it. Ooh, we got Basement Boy achieved! That doesn't give me an item, but it just proves that I took absolutely no damage in Basement slash Cellar Run. Okay, so we got meat, which is a bonk reference. It's a tears, HP upgrade, and possibly a damage upgrade. Yeah, it looks like a damage upgrade to me. Okay, three soul hearts for Guppy's paw doesn't seem that worth it. But, since I've never taken this at all, I'm gonna go with Lord of the Pit. So now, I can actually fly. Flying is very good, because you can go over pits and rocks. It's going to be great for defense, trust me on this one. And also when it comes to curse rooms, instead of taking like a full heart of damage whenever you go in and out, you only take half a heart. Like you take no damage when you go in, you just take damage when you're coming out. So it's always good to find flying items whenever you can. Of course, the deal with the devil's best flying item is not Lord of the Pit, but Spirit of the Night. Sadly, Spirit of the Night didn't show up. What makes Spirit of the Night so special compared to Lord of the Pit is that Spirit of the Night also gives you spectral tears like the Ouija board. And we all know what spectral tears can do, because I explained that before. Lord of the Pit just gives you flying, that's it. But at least you look pretty awesome with wings. I mean, they kind of look like black angel wings rather than demon wings. Because, yeah, like, Lord of the Pit is basically a demon, but you're not fully evil. That's why it's called D-E-A-M-O-N wings. Like, almost like a good demon? Who knows? I don't really understand the uh, whole demonology terminology. Demonology terminology sounds like a pretty awesome book. Or some kind of Weird Al satanic rap. Yeah, it could work. Weird Al, you might want to get onto that. 100% royalties, please. 
Okay, this mob trap room is pretty easy. Was it worth three cents? I don't know. But it'll make the next shop worthwhile if I can get at least 15 cents. Especially if I can find mom's coin purse again. That would be great. Especially with PhD. I mean, I look like a friggin' black Dr. Kevorkian with wings. That would be pretty awesome. It's like, I'm a surgeon, but I can fly. I make house calls even to the heavens or the hells. Uh oh Whoa, that Cuban meat actually saved me from taking a hit. That fat fly had to go. I gotta take out this reed head, which is a pain in the ass in its own right. But thanks to flying, I can just get to the rocks. There. This, uh... The Lord of the Pit is already paying off. Three cents for a pill? I suppose, since it's on sale. Oh, it's bad gas. The good thing about PHD is it also identifies pills after a period of time. I mean, all bad gas does is you make a green fart. And any enemy around it gets hurt. I don't think these are the right enemies to demonstrate it on. When we find other enemies, I will. Uh, getting a little bit of lag there, game. Trying to parse so much. What's going on? Should be doing this. Come on, game. Don't do this to me now. What's going on? It's not always like this. It's only just now in this room. Okay, I think it's back to normal. Good. Hmm. Okay, let's use the bad gas pill. Like, I don't know what's just causing it to get all frame or something. Is Steam updating? I don't know. I really hope that's not the case. Okay, it's fine now, but it usually seems to be like that now. Okay, let me just close down Steam. I mean, I should keep the game active. No, wait, no, 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 no. Ah, never mind, it won't allow me to close it. But that's okay. Right now, a unicorn horn is actually pretty good, too. But let me keep Bob's rotten head, because it's a free bomb. Like, I don't know what I got going on that's making it framey like this. It's not always like this, to be honest with you. Okay, that was a secret room. Great. If I can just figure out what's causing this whole framey issue with Binding of Isaac now. I think this is the second time it ever happened, because remember, the first one went flawlessly. Hang on, time out. Let me try to figure this out. Okay, I'm back. I decided to, like, uh, change the priority of this game a little bit higher. So let's see if that worked, and so far it has. I'm gonna stay, like, hovering over the pit to make sure those poop munchers don't get to me. Shoot poop munchers, don't bother me, blah blah blah. There. Cancer! Only in the Binding of Isaac can you say, I have cancer and I'm happy about it. Well, let me explore the floor a little bit more. Uh, that's just a self-sacrifice room, not worth it. Alright, let's go take on the boss. Gertie Jr. Ugh, I hate Gertie Jr. so much and I took a first hit against him. At least I think that's a hit, that's probably a her. I mean, what it does is it uses like a whole bunch of blood shots. That's not the problem. The fat flies are not a problem, or grandfather flies, so to speak. It's when it moves around so fast in your current direction. And sometimes it's very difficult to dodge in time. Once you bring its health down a little bit more, it's going to keep doing that whole skid all the time. Of course, you can telegraph it very easily if there are no enemies and there are no rocks. But otherwise, it's going to be a very difficult fight. And in some instances, later on in the game, you're going to find more. Oh, I forgot to explain what a cancer does. It actually doubles your rate of fire. So that's pretty good. We got an HP upgrade. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Lord of the Pit. Now I have to take another deal with the devil to unlock Eve. For some reason, I don't like Eve. 
the reason why I don't like Eve is that while she has decent speed, her attack power is so terrible. Like, certain characters have other abilities or innate abilities or different stats compared to Isaac. I mean, Isaac's stats are very neutral, like two all across the board. I'll probably explain the rest once we unlock them and get to play as them. Come on. There. Alright, let's see what we got in this item room. Uh, it's a forever alone. That's an attack fly. So this blue fly will keep following me around from a fixed distance and attack enemies. That's actually pretty good. It's not exactly a defensive familiar, but if it can hurt enemies, I'm all for it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the My Little Unicorn that I picked up, it gives you invincibility for a few seconds. And after a while, you have to charge it up again. It's actually a pretty good item to have, but I'm just going to stick with Bob's Rotten Head for the fact that it serves as a bomb that you don't have to worry about consuming. So we picked up Boom, which is 10 extra bombs, which is great. I would like to get Pyro, though, because that's 99 bombs. We've got 99 problems, but a secret room ain't one. Hit me! No, seriously, don't hit me. Of course, I should be using Bob's Rotten Head on enemies as well, especially enemies that are grouped together. But, I just feel like saving it for finding secret rooms. Then again, I got like 15 bombs, it's not like I gotta worry. And the hovering heads, I don't like them. Just take them out. Cancer is making it easy because I can shoot faster. Tech Fly is good in its own right too. Keep it up. Come on, attack fly, go! Fine, I'll do it myself. So we get our second pill in this run, and it's a health up. Great. That's gonna be closer to Maggie as well. So now we gotta take on Envy. Envy is pretty easy. All it does is just go diagonally, and once you deplete its health bar, it actually split up into smaller heads. And then that splits into even smaller heads. It's similar to the fistula fight we had in part 1, only this is a little less annoying because you don't have to worry about the silkworms. Alright, let's try this. Eh, I don't think it was worth it because I only destroyed like one head and it split. Should have waited for it all to be smaller heads. And when you look at the smallest heads, they kind of remind me of the poker face meme. So does uh, Chubb's portrait when you get into battle with him, or before you battle him. In any case, let's just go through all these heads. There we go. Got a troll bomb out of that, which I didn't like, but an extra key is good too. Well, the extra the key was actually the only good thing about that battle. Ho oh, ho, churn reaction for the win. We got five Siamese flies. I don't like this. Come on, I want some fly on fly action here. Attack fly! Ugh! Let me down! Why? go. See, now that I don't have to worry about tutorials or explaining everything, this run's gonna go a lot faster than the previous one. Ah, there's Chubb. Speak of the devil. Oh god, it's a champion Chubb. The thing about champion Chubb, well, at least the orange champion Chubb, is that it moves much faster than the regular one. The green one's also a champion, but it moves slower. Oh, how did that bomb blast actually hurt me? Ugh. Here, take this! Gonna let the poison damage work. Perfect. Got two soul hearts out of that too. Perfect. Ah, we unlocked Maggie because we got seven red hearts. And we take this deal with the devil. We'll unlock Eve. Oh wait, the yum heart's actually Maggie's item. And instead of a deal with the devil item, we gotta take on Krampus. Krampus was not around in The Binding of Isaac until the Christmas update. I remember the demon version of Santa Claus for bad kids in European folk tales was Krampus. And he kind of looks like the Fallen, except he doesn't have that dash attack. He only has like the blood shots and then the blood beams. That's it. And it doesn't split into two whenever you deplete its HP in half. 
So think of it as a nerf version of the Fallen. Ah, oh, that was terrible. I mean, I could just leave now and not worry about Krampus's uh, lump of coal. But I want that item. It's actually pretty useful. Especially if you got a lot of range. Okay, this fight's going pretty slowly. Why don't I try using a bomb? Oh, that's much better. Use another one. That's it, just a little bit more. Yes! I haven't been bad. Come on now. My Christmas present. The thing about Lump of Coal is that when you shoot it, your shots actually get bigger the further they go. So the more range upgrades you get, the stronger your shots become. Let's check around for secret rooms before we go. Get it on the first try. We need to go deeper? I don't want that. Besides, I've picked it up before. So there's still the chance of getting Eve this run. If I get another deal with the devil. Provided it's an item I feel that I can actually use. Oh, is this two hearts? Oh, I'll take it since I don't have another card. Oh well. I mean, two hearts is not useful to use now. Maybe if I'm down to like half my red hearts, I will. Uh, curse room? Eh, four soul hearts. It's, it's worth a look. Here. Oh, that was terrible. Now I'm down to three soul hearts because of that idiocy. I didn't even know I was hovering right on the poop. Lesson learned. Yeah, steam cell? I never picked that up yet, so let's do so now. Now every item is 50% off. Sadly, that brings me down to only one penny. Okay, that uh, curse room is a bit of a bust. I mean, these blue flies are just gonna kill themselves off anyway. Oh well, live and learn, I suppose. Had to take a shot. Larry Jr. is going to be easy to wipe out because he can't go through the rocks. Therefore, I have the advantage. Could use some more range upgrades. Otherwise, this lump of coal is not worth it. Got some bombs and a key. That's super. That was actually a very good gold chest. That's it. More soul hearts. Oh, yeah. I got a very good chance. Provided I don't really ruin things for myself by being absolutely dumb. Hey, let's see if we can find the top secret room. I laugh if I actually got lucky there, but it could have been the other side. No, it wasn't. Oh well. It's not like we really need to look for top secret rooms because they're much harder to find. Unless I had that Spelunker's hat, which can actually alarm me if there's a secret room in the vicinity or not. Actually, I think there's only one more place, well, two more places that the top secret room can be. Here, and... Here. Okay, maybe there are other places, but I'm not here to look for it. Yeah, that's just gross. Why would you open your mouth when people are pooping around you? It's a recipe for disaster! Or a recipe for chocolate feces balls. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. So let's just pretend I never said that, because otherwise people will be having bad mental images. Okay, take care of these guys. Attack fly, can you help please? Okay, fine, I'll do all the work myself. If you want it done right, then do it yourself! So we got these fistula nuggets to worry about. Take out the smaller ones first. Or knowing me, I'll end up destroying all the bigger ones and then the silkworms. Whoa. Hoo hoo, that was a good dodge. Cuban meat actually helped. Unlike attack fly. Ah, okay, okay, he redeemed himself there. Instant forgiveness for attack fly. Oh, there's greed. There's a curse. Oh, that actually went much easier than the first time. I like that. I like when greed falls pretty fast. Now, if only we could elect those greedy officials out of office. 
You might have to use like a green disembodied head to make it happen. Yeah, once again, I don't know where I'm going with that. I don't want to get too political. Let's just move on. In fact, most people watch my LPs to avoid the political spectrum. I think that's the case, right? You sure it's not about my entertainment factor? Man, what is up with these secret rooms having consumable items? So we picked up the Ankh, which means that if I die, I get resurrected as an embodiment called the Blue Baby, also known as a question mark character. But anyways, we don't have to worry about that because I don't plan to die in this run. If I do, I get resurrected at him, and my HP is only three soul hearts. And that character cannot get red hearts. So it's a very big risk if you play as that character. But that character also has some advantages, which we'll go over later. Charm of the Vampire. So I can replenish half a red heart by the amount of kills I get. Huh, <laughs> the bean! What did I get that for? Shooting a lot of poop? Probably. So that's another secret we unlocked. But anyways, Charm of the Vampire works if you get at least 12 or 13 kills. Once you get those amount of kills, you get like one half a red heart. Okay, I'm not a real fan of this room. But if I stay on the spikes, I could be okay. Because the spiders can actually kill themselves on the spikes. Yeah, they weren't going to go on the spikes, because they're not stupid. I respect an intelligent opposition. Save Charm of the Vampire connected right there. Uh, once again, Lord of the Pit is paying in spades. Ah, that was terrible. Because now I can just pick up the money. Actually, I could pick up the money anyway. But it just makes it riskier, because now those blue spike blocks can actually hit me from there. I'm going to get all these bombs, which is great. Like, I'm very rich in bombs here. It's crazy. I'm like Link, except I don't have a green hat. And I'm also naked. Uh-oh. That's a trite spider. I don't like those. This, I think, is called trite or trine. Yeah, for I don't really care what it is. I just hate it. These knights are very easy, just hit them on the sides or in the back. Just make sure you're luring them in one direction first. Luring them in one direction, no wonder they're zombies. I think anyone that listens to One Direction is almost a zombie. Anyways, I'm not going to start a fan war. Even though I think we've already crossed that line right there. Hey, I've crossed a lot of lines. I've crossed more lines than people that are trying to make lowercase t's. Flat penny? I think that's actually better to have than cancer. Flat penny will possibly give me one key for every cent I pick up on the ground. So if I find a room with a lot of money, I could get a lot of keys. Like so. Got two keys out of that. I don't really feel like exploring the rest of this floor, so let's just go into... Oh, there's the Carrion Queen. Spawn right next to me! Well, yeah. Okay, what makes the Carrion Queen a very annoying post version of Chubb is that, yeah, this toxic poop, which Northern Lion calls AIDS poop because it hurts you whenever you touch it, and it also goes back. That's not cool at all. Okay, once you do enough damage, it'll start swiveling around diagonally. I don't think I can poop anymore. But remember, it can actually bounce off the poop. So make sure you take into account where you're currently to. Once you do that, you'll have an easier time. Very difficult if it had lots of acid poop lying around. So be very careful. Okay, so this is my chance to get Eve. All I have to do is take one more item. Uh, Brother Bobby or Brimstone? Let's go with Brimstone. There, now Eve is unlocked. So with that, you unlock the dead bird, which is Eve's familiar. 
and a curse, which is known as Whore of Babylon. Very good item to have if you're running on an all soul heart run. Which right now we're not. To use Brimstone, you have to hold in the direction you want to aim. And whenever your head starts flashing red and your cheeks completely bulge, release, and you shoot a blood bee. Some people say Brimstone is great, while others not so much. I think Brimstone is okay for small enemies that you want to clear out as fast as possible. But tougher enemies, it's not going to be worth it as much. But once again, the uh, Miter is being an unsung hero. Haha, <laughs> idiot. I mean, I can go to Mom right now. But first, let's get... Oh, Mutant Spider! I like this, because this is Quad Shot. Sadly, it also makes Brimstone charge much longer. But I think it does more damage. If that's the case, I got a pretty good weapon. Like, Mutant Spider, all by itself, is very good because you can shoot four shots at once. But it brings your tier stats all the way down to one. Which I guess makes sense, because you are shooting like four tiers at once. Sadly, you practically have to charge your brimstone before you enter another room. Which is gonna be a pain in the ass to work with. But we'll be alright. There we go, that's one horseman head down. Like, if I can find a way to make Brimstone charge faster, I'm all for it. But right now, I just don't have that ability. But uh, once again, I'm doing more damage, which I'm happy about. It'll just make my Brimstone more God-fearing. If it takes a while to charge, but does a lot more damage whenever it shoots... Haha, <laughs> it's a Blood Beam War! Guess who wins? It ain't these guys. Okay, so far so good. There is Zordon after plastic surgery in 15 years and surrounded by flies to make up for his lost companionship with Alpha 5. I don't know what would be more annoying, buzzing flies or Alpha. Actually, Alpha is pretty cool. I mean, I like Power Rangers. I mean, explain the multiple Mighty Morphin Power Rangers LPs I've done. Like four or five games. Not counting the movie version, which also has its many versions of games. Oh, well, that's bad. I was trying to get a good brimstone shot so I can take out multiple of these leapers at once. Uh oh, I don't have a good speed stat either. Just get them all lined up, and then aim fire! Come on, attack fly, do more for me. For nothing! Did all the work myself! Again! There we go. Sadly, Charm of the Vampire does not recover soul hearts. If it did, it would just be too broken. Perfect. Okay, there's our last shop. Oh, I did not have it fully charged. But I did. This could take a while. I'm gonna have to let Attack Fly do more work. And we get Mom's Coin Purse. That goes great with PhD. So what's this item? Come on, Blue Bill. Identify yourself and you're not Viagra. Come on. Come on. Fine, I'll use it myself. Walls of Steel. Great. That sounds very fitting. A speed upgrade. Remember I was saying my speed is not that great, but it is now. And that's Tears Up. I think that'll go great with my current slow charge Brimstone. Does it charge faster? Eh, I can't really notice, actually. But if anything, I got very monster speed. Yeah, my tears is still only at one, but then again, that has a lot to do with the uh, mutant spider. I think it's just gonna keep my tear stats to one all the time. 
It might get a little different as we move along, but right now I just can't notice it. That was a good well-placed shot. So is that. Perfect. Okay, so I got a lot of keys now, which is great. I think I can afford to give it up for maybe another trinket. But, I think I'm just gonna stick with what I got now. Man, if I can just pick up some more money, I can get Kane as well. That would be awesome. But, it's just hard to keep your money if you're gonna spend it. Also, the secret rooms haven't really been giving me money, just items. Not that I'm complaining, because I like to have items. Eh, since I got two of hearts, might as well make the most of it. That's it. A little more. No, 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 no! Oh, fine, I'll use it here. I pressed the wrong button, I meant to press the two of hearts. Mom's pill bottle, awesome. So yeah, we unlocked another item. I'm gonna get more keys. This is great. Uh, let's use this poop ball, shall we? That's the only time I can ever say that sentence and nobody would worry about me. Okay, that's the gold key. A little too little too late if you ask me. Let's even get some more regular red hearts. That way I don't find myself relying on soul hearts all the time. I'm free fly out of that slot machine. Awesome. Aww. That would've been good to have. I'm trying to get myself to 55 cents. So I can get Kane. And no, I'm not talking about the big red monster. Okay, so far so good. Pretty close. That's it. I'm risking my soul hearts, but I think it's worth it, because now we got Kane. We unlocked three characters in one run. That's great. And we get the lucky foot as well, because that's Kane's item that he starts with. Brought myself down pretty low, though. But that's the price you pay, am I right? I mean, I can go back to the shop to pick up that red heart, but I think we'll do just fine. For now, let's take on Mom again. It's gonna be a bit more annoying, because since my shots are slower, that means I have to aim in advance. If I can take on multiple targets at once, like Mom's foot, and then probably the Orphus that's open, I can do more damage. But that's just relying on chance. Yeah, I don't mind these enemies here, because they don't shoot. So I'll just leave them alone. They're all by themselves. There we go. That was actually a very easy fight. So remember, we unlocked another chapter known as the Womb Slash Utero. Heads up! Yeah, no help, please. Okay, so this is Utero, the Wrath of the Lamb version of the Womb. You wouldn't know it just by the layout and the music, just by the enemies. Just watch out for these brains because they have that red acid creep that can be very annoying and hurt you. But since I'm flying, I can just go over the creep. Also, the thing you have to worry about in the womb slash utero is that you act can never take one half heart of damage. It's full hearts of damage now. Two of spades can double your keys. Actually, will double your keys. So here's the hollow. A dead version of Larry Jr. Very easy. It only goes diagonally. Doesn't shoot. It just dies. Yeah, that's gonna be the hollow's new slogan. I don't shoot, I just die. Okay, I could use a different trinket now, because Flat Penny has really outlived its usefulness. I got 63 keys, what am I going to need them all for? Huh, another hollow just dies, just like that. Also, I've held Bob's rotten head the whole time. I'm surprised I didn't find any more useful spacebar items. But you probably will the more you play the game because you'll have more items unlocked. That can be useful. Let's get them all. There we go. Now the magician functions as homing tear. It's not really worth it. This demon judgment is not worth playing either. Whoa! Oh, karma. Okay, 
let's take out these uh, teeth condoms over here, also known as leeches. I just call them teeth condoms because they have teeth and they look like used condoms. Maybe the same used condom that birthed Isaac, I don't know. Eh, let's go for it. Wow, what a bust. So we get like three mini Larry Juniors here to deal with. And then you're going to be dealing with Chubb. And they're going to be dealing with not one, but two monstros. Not a very harrowing issue, mind you, because these bosses are very easy since you run into them early. Once again, Charm of the Vampire is kind of paying off since I was low on red hearts. Well, I wasn't really low, I was just not full. I prefer to be full whenever I can. Oh, Monstro! How dare you have smart AI! Or maybe I'm just being very unlucky that he just jumped over the rotten head. Okay, if I can shoot two of them at once, that'd be even better. Get them right close to each other. That's how it's gonna be done. Man, at this rate, I'm just better off getting much closer to let like, Cuba meet and maybe the attack fly do the work. Because I'm doing good damage, but it's also slow damage. Uh, Super Troll Bomb! Get two free bombs, that's nice. Nice parting gift. Now, let's see where the boss is. It has to be this way. And I just shot down a doppelganger Isaac that tries to mimic your movements. Isaac's fork? Well, try it. I mean, all it does is HP drain. Okay, we got vaginal diglets and the mask and heart duos here. They show up in utero as well, sadly. Vaginal diglet use dig. It's not very effective. Isaac used Brimstone, it's super effective. Vaginal Diglett faints. Actually, it dies. So all in all, this has been a very fruitful run. Getting more items unlocked, finding more secrets, adding more items to the collection, unlocking three characters, mind you, and probably gonna be four soon enough. Because remember, we still got Judas to unlock. And you know how you unlock Judas? You beat the wound. We got the Fallen again. It's actually the second time I got to battle him. That's it! That was a perfect time to use Bob's right in the head, but I don't think the poison worked. I'm guessing I missed with the direct hit with the blast, but rather the... I don't know, the uh, radius effect. I think that's what got the Fallen. Better than the rotten head itself. Come on, help me! Thank you! Oh, there's Spirit of the Night! So now we can actually shoot Spectral Tears. What's this item gonna be? Ugh. Guppy's head and nine lives. None of these are worth it, so I'm not gonna take them. Even though I know they can add to your collection, Bonga. But I don't want to get those items late in the game. If I were to get, like, terrible items, I'd rather get them early rather than later, especially if it costs me, like, substantial amount of health. Like, it's just not worth the two red hearts that I'm likely going to be needing for the final battle of this run, which is Mom's Heart. Yeah, you're gonna find Mom's Heart in her uterus. It makes little to no sense, but then again, since when has the Binding of Isaac made sense? Well, maybe in certain things, just not in this. Oh, I found the boss room already! I mean, it's pretty good to find the boss room in the utero or womb very early because you don't have to worry about item rooms or shops because they don't exist in, at this point in the game. There we go! Let's take out this heart. Thank you for dying. And let's just go straight to the boss room right now. Okay, this is it. Let's go. The moment of truth. Of course, you have to deal with these Vemos ripoffs. Take them out at once. Now, that was actually a good shot. Wait, that did no damage? Huh. Okay, now Brimstone is really starting to show his weakness. 
unfortunately. I mean, most of the damage I'm going to be doing is from my like, Cuba Mita, maybe the attack fly. But if I time it right, I'll take out the enemies that Mom's heart spawns. And I can just get another Brimstone charge on the ready. Remember, whenever you take out a wave of enemies, Mom's heart resurfaces. Go. I can afford to get a little bit closer for the attack line, even cue a meat. Once it gets down to less than half health, you get to the second phase. It beats faster, and it shoots bombs. So watch out for that. Well, bomb shots, so to speak. Bomb shots sound like a very dangerous drink to have at a bar. And I don't think I would want them. I'm pretty sure they'd have Jagger bombs mixed in. A little bit more. It's almost dead. Got it! And we unlocked Judas! Awesome! So we got four characters unlocked in one run. Sweet! Oh, look at that. It's so cute! Alright, that was actually very, very fruitful that we were able to beat Mom's Heart in only part two. And we get four characters! Isn't that great or what? Also, let's go over the stats to see what secrets we got. 20 secrets! The Book of Belial is Judas's item. Okay, we got Judas, the Lucky Foot, Cain, Mom's Pill Bottle, for Babylon, Dead Bird, Eve, the Bean, Lump of Coal, and the Yum Heart from Maggie. So that was very, very good. Ah, uh, Book of Belial appeared in the basement. That's showing up again. Basement Boy Got Chief, Book of Revelations. Very, very good run. So anyways, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, why don't I try out one of these new characters that I unlocked? See ya!